Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a DIY project for our planners and we're going to start with some sticker books I have here that I'm going to use as well as some washi tape and some cardstock to form the basis of our DIY. So to begin I'm going to go ahead and take this cardstock and cut it down to size. I'm going to cut it to classic happy planner size which is 7 inches by 9 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to grab out my uh, paper cutter here and get that started. And then I'm going to go ahead and line the edge of the sheet with washi tape so that when I punch it through it will actually punch through the washi as well as the paper and um, set it all up for me so we're good to go. This project it was a fun project. I split it up into two just because the way that the sides are designed they're kind of different from each other and so in case you wanted to just see how to do one or the other I figured it'd be better to put them into two videos so that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you here. I decided that for this side we're going to use the long colorful boxes in a new way. I, I looked at them and I thought that they kind of looked like books on their side and thought that would be a really cute way to be able to write in the books that you want to read um, without having to draw anything or have anything pre-planned if you kind of cut it so that it looks like the solid part is the cover of the book and then do a little cut inside where it looks like there are paper in there like as you're seeing me do here with the scissors. It looks really cute and like a book. I was really excited when I came up with that and I wanted to share it with you guys so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do here. On the wax paper sheet I kind of did a sample one in silver showing you how you might actually write on these side of the book stickers in a way where you can write in what book and author you are hoping to read in the near future. I'm setting these guys up so that they look like they are stacked on top of each other and I cut that one down a little bit so that they weren't all the same size. And then I was going to use the other two as is but then I thought the two that I wanted to have standing up you would actually be seeing the spine of the book so a more solid look would look better. So I'm going into my other colorful boxes sticker book and using the ones that are kind of fully colored to give a little bit of contrast and also to give you the idea that they're actually books standing up and that you're seeing the spine of the book. And to further the idea that these are books, I'm tilting one on top of each other and adding in little bookmark flags like as if you had bookmarks inside of the book just to add a little extra bookness <laughs> to these stickers in case it wasn't readily apparent on first glance. And I think that looks really good from what um, you know I intended it to be. So we've got the basis set down and now I just need to kind of title the look of the page so you know what it's for. And I'm going to go into the summer sticker book and pull out letters from there. I was going to use another book but then um, like maybe fall or um, that dates and holidays one that you see there, but they just didn't have the right feel for the colors I have in the spread. But feel free to use whatever you have at your own disposal to make it look um, cute and also fit in with whatever color scheme you have going. And so now I'm putting in to read um, and the bottom on the second line, and then on top of that, I'll put books. So the title will be Books to Read. Just kind of picking colors that look like they might be part of the same gradient. Books was a little bit harder just because there is no orange K. So I am trying to figure out how I might make it look right using the colors I have at my disposal. And so I'm using the wax paper to get an idea. And then I'm just going to 
start laying in the letters. I like to keep things straight and even, so sometimes I'll do a little bit more defined measurement, but this time I think I'm just going to wing it and I think it came out pretty good. Finally, I feel like I need a little bit more decor and I thought about using some book stickers that I had in a journaling sticker book, but eh, it's not really working with the color scheme I have going. And then I got the idea, since I had that other sticker book out, to use some of the smaller colorful boxes as more books, kind of like as a visual of books standing on end to kind of just punctuate that title a bit. I'm going to try and lay those guys out. I'm going to do a little bit of tilting and maybe even a little bit of cutting. So I'm pulling the ones in the color scheme I have going and figuring out how best to put them together. I'm going to make some a little bit skinnier and then maybe even some a little shorter just so that again it looks more like books versus just the same sticker next to each other. And I kind of want to do something else. I think I might in the end put some more decor, maybe a little quote or something above the pink and yellow books. But overall, this came out super cute. I, I wanted to do more, but I really just didn't have the time to do that on camera. But look out on Instagram. I may post, um, you know, an update to this in the you know future with maybe a little bit more decor and, and maybe actual writing on the book so you can kind of see it in action okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up down below go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos thanks for watching be sure to check out part two in the videos to come and we will see you next time. Bye.